Hello, this is James from Copters, and today we'll be going through the Zenmuse L2 LiDAR workflow using DJI Terra. First of all, we're going to open up DJI Terra, a new mission, and click on LiDAR Point Cloud. We're going to edit the mission name, and we're going to select the folder on the top right hand corner, and select the mission folder created by the LiDAR. Once the data has been imported, then you can scroll down the right hand side changing settings accustomed to what kind of environment you've been working in. So firstly at the top, make sure that the data is imported and we can select the point cloud density by the percentage or by the distance. And then on the point cloud processing, you have a few options down here to change things like point cloud effective distance. Bear in mind that the LiDAR has a particular range, you can toggle this depending on the flying height. To increase survey accuracy, then tick Optimize Point Cloud Accuracy, and to create a cleaner point cloud, then select Smooth Point Cloud. If you're working in the vegetated area and interested in the point cloud classification of the ground, then select the ground point classification. Depending on the environment you're flying in, you may want to change some of the settings below, like ground type, building max diagonal, iteration angle, and iteration distance. Always remember, once these parameters have been selected, tick the box which says Generate DEM. This data then can be used for further data interrogation later on in third-party software. Once these parameters have been selected, then you can choose the correct coordinate system within the area you're working in. If you're working in the UK, then select OSGB 1936 and Geoid Sessions ODN. This will put it into British National Grid and OSTN 15 height. In terms of point cloud formats to select, this will be dependent on what third party software you're using. Typical universal file formats are last file. If you are working on a large project and want all your data to be in one file, then select merge output. Once all the settings have been complete, then click the start processing. Processing time will be dependent on the file size from that particular mission. Once the data has been generated, then you can view the data within DJI Terra, taking cross sections, measurements, volumes, and areas. You can select through the different file types, including RGB, which is the full color, reflectance values, height, number of returns, and the type of data, which is the ground and anything above the ground level. This data is derived using the auto classification technique in DJI Terra as ground points and not ground points. Off ground points include anything above ground, for example, trees, telecommunication wires, buildings, cars, etc. The quality report can be reviewed to make sure that all the data is within the specification. Thank you for watching this L2 workflow video. Stay in touch for further video updates.